yesterday we just got back from the States, so the, new, the strategy now is uh, take a few, a week easy or so, and then uh, my main goal is to recover from my, my knee, knee injury, um, hoping to get back in the gym and strengthen all my, my muscles around my knee so I can get back to running. And then the main goals for the New Zealand is to get ready for the New Zealand season, which would involve um, the, obviously the main goal is the tower and a half and maybe a 70.3 in New Zealand. Um, also to do maybe the Talco half and um, the contact try and rotor and tin man, those are the big goals. So at the moment we'd probably go back into a bit of a base phase, um, a good a good few months of base phase, which because um, we've just got back from the States, it's good to go back into nice easy miles, let the body recover a bit, not putting all that stress on the heart and the muscles again, and then yeah, build up that base, which would be very important for the, the New Zealand season. Just got back from the States, we did three halves in 22 days over there, which was a new experience for me. I'd never done them so close, so. Um, we started off with Hawaii 70.3, which was a, a lot of fun. Um, it was a great field with the likes of Lance Armstrong, Greg Bennett, um, and a number of other athletes there. Um, the challenges of that race really was the, the conditions on the island, which were, the winds were brutal. Um, I mean, we spoke, talked to Chris Leado after, and he said he lives on the island and he's never experienced winds like that. So. It was, it was a new experience for us, and me, um, James and I had both taken out Zip 808s, which if we maybe had more option to, to swap out, we'd definitely go a smaller wheel, because <laughs> going up to run on the ride up to Harvey, it was a, it was a struggle to stay up. Um, I had a good swim over there. It, was, it came out the front pack, which the likes of yeah, Lance Armstrong, Greg Bennett, uh, Guy Crawford, and a lot of the top athletes. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, straight onto the bike, it was basically every man for himself. Uh, there's no, no real packs formed. Lance ended up destroying the field, riding about a 201 in really tough conditions. Um, and then, yeah, Greg Bennett was... Oh, Chris Vado was second off the bike, Greg Bennett third. Um, onto the run, it was, again, it's, the heat was pretty tough, so... But, well, that made it look very tough, the heat and the wind and also a lot of the runners on um, a golf course which is really spongy, um, really spongy so it saps a lot of the energy out of the leg so it's, it's definitely a, a slow run. Um, I ended up getting 8th which was not too bad overall and yeah, I was, was happy to finish the half marathon <laughs> given the, my knee problems. Um, yeah, so from Hawaii, we, we had a couple of days in Hawaii chilling out after, and then it was it was a tough, long flight to the east coast of America, Cambridge, Maryland, where we, we got there about the Wednesday and had another race, Eagle Man 7.3 on Sunday. Uh, we had a homestay again, which was nice on the course, so we, we, um, we were about two miles from transition, which really helped, so we could chill out and swim at the local pool and train on the course and really get to know that. Eagle Man is a really, a really nice course. Um, the bike is basically, I think I looked at my Garmin, there was about 10 difference in elevation across the whole course, 10 metres, so it's basically 100% flat. Um, not much wind, so it was, it, was a, it was a really fast course on the bike. I think the leader TJ Tollickson rode 202, which was incredible. Um, I, I had a solid swim, I was second out in the water, which was really happy with. I had uh, the likes of Crowey and Greg Bennett again, who raced uh, on, just on my tail, which was, oh, and Richie Cunningham, so that was really exciting. Those guys <laughs> started the bike pretty fast, and I, I couldn't, couldn't keep up with them, so I basically just rode my own race. Um, I had a really good 50k and then suddenly my hips, hips seized up and I uh, struggled a bit for the last, the last half, which, which was, wasn't fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I ended up riding 214, which, which was okay considering we'd done the 
70.3 a week earlier, but um, yeah, the run, the run was a, a real struggle. And by that time of the day, it was, it was near 100 degrees Fahrenheit and quite high humidity, so it was uh, one of those battles of nutrition and just every man for himself. You've got to stay in the race and hope, hope you do well. Um, I think in the end I ended up about 16th there, which was was tough, but uh, like I said, it's a new experience for me racing so close, um, and I had a lot of fun, a really great course, and I think maybe next year we would go back with the intentions of making that our first race in the primary race, because I think we could both do well there, me and my brother James. Um, yeah, from then on it was to, we went to... Lubbock, Texas. To, um, we had two weeks until the, our third um, 70.3, so it was good to get there two weeks early. Um, Lubbock was at a, is a slight altitude at about 1,000 a thousand metres, so it gave us time to adjust to that and recover from the last two halves. Um, we had a great homestay there, which also helps. Um, yeah, I'd kind of... Um, struggled a bit with my knee after these last two halves so I, uh, it took me a week or so to be able to actually do anything because <laughs> the uh, yeah it was just it was a bit inflamed so we um, gradually got going about a week a week out and um, yeah did some did just, just some recovery training and then and then Terenzo flew in which was really nice so he stayed with us for the last for three days out from the race and trained with him and chilled out so that's really good. He's a good mate and a good athlete. Um, the race there was again it's really it's a it's a great race. It was a tough um, it was a swim in a lake in a spring fed lake which was, was real nice. Quite hot though. Um, it was a wetsuit swim and I think I was about fourth out. Um, had the fish Clayton Fatal was I think first out. He was really really impressive swimmer. Um, onto the bike I had, I had a pretty solid bike and um, most of the way I was in the top sort of four or five and finished up getting, I think I was third or, third or fourth off the bike. Um, unfortunately I didn't finish the run, my, uh, my knee problem flared up just too much and I, I pulled the pin a few K in which was a disappointment for me as my first DNF that I can remember. Um, but in a positive, it's it was a good solid three weeks of racing and I learned huge amounts and um, so yeah, now, we're now back in New Zealand and looking forward to, to getting the basin for the New Zealand season.